GuitarLessons.com, the number one name in guitar lessons online. Okay, what I was just playing was some octaves, and in this lesson, we're going to learn all about octave centers and how that can help you learn the layout of your fretboard. So with that in mind, let's take a G note on our third fret of our low E string, play that note, and I'll give you the formula to find a note that's one octave away from that note. All you're going to do is go up two frets and over two strings. Play that note. You should be on the fifth fret of your D string. So if I have this G note, and I go up two frets and over two strings, those are both Gs. And this formula works if you're starting on the sixth string, or if you're starting on the fifth string. So if you have your G up here on the tenth fret, and you want to find a G an octave above that, you need to go up two frets and over two strings again. Start there on the tenth fret on your A string, up two frets, over two strings. Same note, just an octave higher. Now, if you want to start on your D string and find an octave away from that, the formula changes a little bit. So let me show you a G note on our D string. Right, fifth fret, D string. Instead of going up two frets, we're going to go up three frets and still go over two strings. So if we're starting on any note on our D string, we're going to go up three frets and over two strings. Same note. Now if we start on our G string, the same formula applies as if we started on our D string. So let's find a G on our G string. Let's do the octave up here on the 12th fret. Go up three frets and over two strings. Up three, over two. Same exact note. Now this is really important if you go take the lessons about your cage sequence. It's really important to help you visualize the layout of the fretboard. So for instance, let me just grab every G note that I can on the fretboard really quickly to show you how octave centers can be really valuable in helping you navigate your fretboard. So this is a great way to start memorizing your fretboard. So a couple times a week, pick a note and then find all the octaves of that note on the entire fretboard.